Welcome back guys, we are here, we're level 6, we're going to solve a level 6 question. Uh, this one's called length list, list, length and count. And it looks really long with a lot of tests, but whatever, um, he's just trying to be helpful. Length list and length count. Um, implement length to count the number of nodes in a length list. Okay, cool, function node, uh, so now there are nodes. Um, length count. Okay, so implement length to count the number of nodes in a linked list. Implement count to count the occurrences of an integer in a linked list. So I guess count null um, and one. And so it looks like these are all singly linked lists because they did not uh, draw arrows coming both ways. And so the length definitely we're starting and no, and it looks like looks like this data, our linked list can do like a dot next and dot data. Um, and so we are going to start the head. Uh, one, two, three, no. Okay. Oh wait, we're throwing the whole freaking list in there? What are you talking about? Um, anyways. Looks as if they don't count the null as a node. So we're, if the null of one, that's zero. If we throw in this link list and we want to count the one, we throw out a one. If we want to count this link list and we want to count the two, uh, there's one, two, three, four occurrences. So it gives us four. Cool, and I'm assuming null um, is just what represents the end. And I'm hoping that I can still trust that. Um, well, I guess if I do like a done next, then it's nothing that's like undefined and a falsy value, anyways. So let's see. Um, let len, uh, which counts for length, we'll have it start at zero. And so if head dot next, and we're just gonna call it head. We could call it node or something like that, but whatever, we'll just keep it at the head. And uh, head down next. If head down next, then hey, that's already that's already two then. Um, how about this? If head uh, or how about if not head, then we're going to return return zero. So if we so yeah, I guess if we are given like a null, so it's not even a node, then we're gonna throw out zero. Else, uh, we're starting our, our length at one, because the head is one at least. And so how about, instead of the if, we do like a while, uh, while head dot next, we're gonna do um, that plus plus, length plus plus, and head equals head dot next, and return, that length. Cool. Um, let's see. Unhandled rejection. List should not. It should only contain one. One. All right. Uh, length. Okay. Occurrences. Occurrences. Okay. Cool. So these two seem like they were talking about occurrences. The one I did for length uh, seems to have passed. So let's go ahead and do this count one. All right, so data is an important thing. Um, like the first one, like the first problem, we're just going to be going in and iterating through. We're just going to have to walk through the the linked list. And uh, just like the first one, if head is nothing, if not head, then return return zero. Oops. Okay. Cool. All right, so how about the next thing we need to worry about is, I want to do that, do this. Okay, so um, next thing we need to worry about is as we're walking through, um, so we want to have a count, count, and we'll put it as zero. So if head, head.data, equals to data. 
Oh gosh, what the heck happened? Oh, I moved. I moved. Uh, I just moved tabs. Um, then count plus plus. And while head dot next. While there is a head dot next, we are going to head equals to head dot next. And for that, if head dot data equals to data then count plus plus. And here we're going to return count. Let's try that out, see if it works. We missed four. Cool. So it looks like... It looks like tests for counting occurrences of a particular integer completed but we got a wrong unhandled rejection list should only contain one one expected one but got two all right oh i see okay so we don't need this because as long as there's a head dot next we'll go in but we're still looking at the first element and here i thought okay maybe this while loop's not gonna look at the first element but it does so we don't need that all right so we're failing less i think um, we're failing two. I forgot how much we failed last time. Uh, list should contain one three, expected one got zero. List should contain one three, expected blah 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 got zero. <coughs> list. Count list one. List. Okay, now where are these lists coming from? Like freaking. He just put in list and that's it? Build one, two, three. Oh, not too good at writing tests, so likewise, I'm not too good at reading tests. Uh, let's see. Let's see where I might be making the problem or mistake, though. Say we have something like this. Let's walk through a question. Let's walk through this. Um, and yes, our length one, it looks good. And so here okay um well the first one first one works because we are simply counting or we're first checking just if it's null then we turn zero good all right and our count is at zero and here we're going to be throwing in this list we're assuming the head is one and so if there is another element um then okay while well, next okay Huh, okay. What if there was only one element? Uh, that's probably one error. Expected one got zero. Okay. Should only contain one, three. Okay, that's probably a linked list of just the three, and it has no next. Therefore, it's missing this and is returning count as that. And so. Um. How about while head on next or head? That way, um, that way, well, if it has a head on next, first of all, that's what we're caring about, then it's definitely going to have a head. Um, but if it doesn't have a head on next, it could still have a head, and we still want to go through this check. And so that will be undefined. Um, so it'll be undefined and undefined. So that would, that should work. Okay, cool. We're still getting to okay. Can I read property next of null at count? Um, next of null at count. Um, that's here. Next of null. Ah, I see. Okay. Head dot next. Head equals head dot next. And so that is head dot next. That is becoming null. So null dot next. You can't do that. Um, that's where I'm getting the issue. So. Uh, I think, all right, we'll just do an if statement, if head.next, then we'll just let it jump into this while statement. Um, else that means it's just like a lone ranger, and so if head.data equals to data, then count plus plus. 
still failing too. Still freaking failing too. All right, test. Um, <clears throat> what frustrates me is I can't really even see it. Unhandled rejection, test error. This should only contain one three, expected one got zero. All right, if head down next. Else, if head down data equals data, count plus plus. All right, let's see. Let's let's see at least if it um, checks out with all of these. So if it's no, we already we already determined that one two three. We're looking for one. Then it should be one. All right. If head down next, okay, has a head down next, meaning it's not just a lone ranger, because a linked list can still have just one link and it's technically a linked list as long as it was created with the node. And so if it has a next, then it's going to go into the while loop. Um, it's never going to go through here again. It's never going to touch that. And so while head down next, it's going to first check the head. Okay. It's going to first check the head, and then it's going to see the data. But how about this? Let's let's pretend it was a three, two, one. So the while head down next. Okay. Ah, I, I see where it's going wrong. I see where it's going wrong. Because uh, if it was a three two one, then it would never check the one, simply because while head down next, yes, head is three, and we flipped it. Remember, three two one, um, head down next, yes, the three points to the two. So if the three equals the one, then but it didn't. So now head equals head down next. So now the head is two. Now two has a dot three, and so it'll go in there check, okay. Uh, if head dot data equals data, which two does not equal three, it'll do head equals head down next, so three. But now they're gonna check okay, or or the one now because we flipped it. The last one's gonna be one, and so now the one hasn't done next, which it doesn't, and so therefore it's not gonna go in here, and so um, all right, all right. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should take out this else if statement and this if statement that I put in there because I think we can just use this if statement out here. Simply because, okay, if just imagine that single link list with just a, a three checking for a three, it doesn't have a next, so it'll skip this entirely and then come here. But given our backwards three, two, one example, um, it will, if it has a next, they'll go in here, it'll check it, and the last, this will only, this will deter, this if statement here will catch those head or those nodes that don't have a dot next and still let it check its data. Yes, we do need that. And so let's try this, see if it works. There we go, cool. So let's submit final and see if they take it. Awesome, cool. That was linked list, length, and count.